Morning YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Uh, I'm going to carry on talking about my motorhome, which is a Talbot Express, uh, about 28 years old, 91, 92, and um, I've had it coming up, I'm into the third year of owning the motorhome, and um, I've had problems with it starting, and in what, nearly three years, it's let me down six times. But I was able to fix it and it's a strange thing you turn the key you hear a clunk and nothing would happen the lights wouldn't dim if the lights dim it would be like the battery connection or the battery but no it's just the starter motor so try it, try it several times wouldn't start you go around to the bonnet you lift the bonnet within a few minutes it would start without really touching anything so it's really really strange so because of the age of the van I went over the uh, engine earth strap when I'd done the engine mounts and things like that and um, I thought I'd change the starter motor because when I looked underneath it was quite corroded and it was only when I got the motor off I realized there was a heat shield missing and uh, so I changed the starter motor and while I was at it I put a new eyelet one of these things on the um, solenoid wire which is all to do with starting fine several weeks starts every time went to Rutland Water back to the same fault turn the key here a clunk, nothing happens. None of the lights on the dashboard go down, anything like that. Oh, so it wasn't the starter motor. But the strange thing is, when I took the old starter motor off, it had been changed in its life, and I couldn't find a single fault with the starter motor. So back to square one. So. I've been down the van, I've checked the engine earth again, the big strap which people tell me gives a lots of trouble. I looked at mine, it's shiny on where the bolts go on the on the frame of the chassis and on the gearbox and although it's dull with age there's no wires I can see broken, the little strands on the earth wire. So I thought well I'll stick another earth wire on the other end of the engine close to the battery so it's got two earth wires and I thought well I'll check the wiring and what I've done is I've followed the wires back from the starter motor and I started at where the new eyelet is to the starter solenoid I followed that back into the wiring and also the main feed, the really thick wire which goes straight to the battery. And that is good condition. Couldn't find anything wrong with that or the battery terminals. So looking carefully at the main solenoid wire, which is the thin red and black wire, and it goes from the starter solenoid through some sleeving up front of the engine into the wiring loom near the battery. But on close examination, I found there's another connector and it's hidden. And it's hidden amongst all the other wires, so it's difficult to see. So I thought, right, I'll replace that. And this is it here. And in one end, it's like a inline connector. So on one end it's just the red wire with a black band on it and on the other connector it's a thick black wire with a red band also a thin red uh, wire with a black band. So I was going to replace it, this connector, but despite having all these connectors I couldn't find any thick enough to take the black wire because these 
you know, it's the wire's quite thick. So the only solution I could come up with was to cut the wires, solder them, and heat shrink. But I couldn't do that either. <laughs> so what I did, I cut the wires, and I found I got one of these inline crimps because I couldn't understand why it would have a connector there anyway. To be honest, I can't see the point of it. So I got one of these inline crimps, and these are uh, for larger diameter cables. So what I did, I cut the wire, strip it back, that end, crimp that on, strip these two wires back, wrapped them together, put them in that end, and crimped it. So I've got one of these. So I haven't got a like an in a detachable connector there. And I brought the connector home. Um, I thought, well, I'm going to have a look at it. So I cut the plastic open because you can't take them apart. And I don't know if you can see it. You can see it's quite black and corroded. Quite yeah, not very nice, because they should really have a shiny colour like that, or like that, if they're brass. So I cut the other bit off and cut it open, and look at that. Look how black that is. And as I say, that should really look like that. So I'm now wondering if this is what the problem is because it's got corrosion and I can't really see where this grips it on the bare metal. There's a couple of faint lines, but you can imagine the electrical connection here is absolutely rubbish. So I'm wondering if this is the main problem, is this connection here. But I haven't got one there now. I've got crimps. So if you've got a Talbot Express motorhome, it's getting on in age, and you might have intermittent starting problems. Yes, it could be a strap that goes from the engine to earth. It could be the start motor. It could be start motor solenoid. It could even be the ignition switch. But what I suggest is trace the wire back to near in front of the battery, hidden amongst all the wires, to see if you have one of these connectors. Because my advice is get rid of it and put one of these barrel crimps in and really, really squeeze it up tight with your crimps. Because if yours is like this, I can see it giving problems in the future, even if it's not giving me problems now. So, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and like.